What's up Guardians? Profane here. Thanks for checking out the video. In a few days we'll be seeing quite a few changes with the newest act of Revenant. Along with a number of sandbox changes, we'll see 5 new artifact mods getting added. And one of these new mods has the potential to be a big game changer, and that is Arc Compounding. This increases arc damage against enemies who are blinded. This will most likely fall between a 5 and 10% bonus in damage, and it can be combined with a Conductive Cosmic Crystal mod, which grants arc abilities bonus damage against slowed and frozen targets. So by running these two mods together with a mixture of arc and stasis energies, you'll be able to maximize on your overall damage output. This is also going to synergize with the Retinal Burn mod, which consumes armor charges in order to create blinding effects. Needless to say, it looks like it's going to be in your best interest to run a lot of arc over the upcoming months. The addition of arc compounding will boost the performance and damage output of a lot of arc weapons and abilities. It's also going to have a direct impact on the performance of 14 different exotic weapons and armor pieces. So if you're trying to optimize on the benefits of arc compounding, you may want to consider building around the exotics that we're about to discuss. And we're going to start with the exotic weapons that will benefit the most from the addition of this new artifact mod. The centrifuge will benefit greatly from arc compounding to be able to boost this auto rifle's ability of handling large groups of enemies. The centrifuge builds up a static charge that causes this weapon to emit bursts of blinding, so this would allow this weapon to double dip into those blinding effects. The X Daris will finally see its damage buff getting applied with this newest act, which is going to be perfect timing since this grenade launcher creates moth buddies that trigger blinding explosions whenever they come into contact with enemies. With grenade launchers gaining several other benefits from the current artifact, the X Daris will be an extremely powerful option for add clear and for optimal damage. But the king of damage continues to be the Grand Overture, and by unlocking its catalyst, those rocket volleys will inflict blinding effects. This could result in a significant increase in overall damage, because the first rocket that reaches the target is going to trigger that blind, which in theory would grant the bonus and damage to all of the other 19 rockets. The Queen's Breaker may finally see its time in the sun, since landing hits with this linear fusion rifle cause targets to become blinded, and consecutive shots will chain those blinding effects to nearby targets. Assuming that everything gets fixed with the tessellation, this fusion rifle should prove to be an extremely powerful option to trigger blinding effects. By consuming an arc grenade, you will load in a high-powered shot that will instantly blind enemies on impact. The tessellation's charged-up shot already deals out a ton of damage, so this could really tip the scales into this fusion rifle's favor. The final exotic weapon that we'll mention today is the Touch of Malice. Now this is a kinetic scout rifle, but the taken blight that this raid exotic charges up emits blinding effects to any target that's caught within its path. With scout rifles getting the nod towards barrier champions, Touch of Malice will be a great exotic to build around. You just need to be sure to provide yourself with plenty of health restoration. When it comes to armor, we've got 7 exotics that will see their performance get boosted with the use of arc compounding. The Helm of Saint-14 allows Titans to blind enemies with both Sentinel Shield and Ward of Dawn, which could see this becoming a great exotic to build around with both Void and Prismatic builds. The Vesper of Radius is one of two exotics that Warlocks can call upon to trigger those blinding effects. Whenever using an Arc Super, you'll trigger bursts of blinding effects whenever casting your Rift. The shockwaves emitted by your rift will deal out a considerable amount of arc damage, which triggers once every 5 seconds. So in the right situation, this could deal out a lot of damage to a single high value target, or a large group of enemies. And the chromatic fire is the second warlock exotic that can create its own blinding effects. Landing precision final blows with kinetic weapons will trigger an elemental explosion that matches your super. So by running an arc super, we'll be able to cash in on the benefits of arc compounding. This would also be a great option to pair with a touch of malice, so that you could expand on your ability to blind enemies. Hunters have the most exotics that will synergize with arc compounding, with a total of four. The first is the Moth Keepers. This creates Moth Buddies. The purple ones give you health, and the blue ones are going to trigger blinding. Whenever using the X Daris with the Moth Keepers, you'll boost your production of Moth Buddies and your ability to blind enemies, so this will be a really great combination for hunters to utilize. 
The Bombardiers are another exotic that will create its own blinding effects, and this is done by performing your class ability. After you dodge, you'll leave behind a small bomb, and that's going to blind targets whenever it detonates, but only when you're equipped with an arc super. This does have its limitations within the PvE, but this could very well become a strong exotic in the Crucible. The Blight Ranger provides hunters with another source of creating blinding effects, although this method is more restricted. After deactivating your arc staff, you'll send out a burst of arc energy, which deals out more damage based on the hits landed during your arc staff. When enemies are hit with this wave of energy, they will become blinded, but since this is only going to happen after deactivating arc staff, it's not going to be a reliable option to trigger blind. The Liar's Handshake is the last hunter exotic that we'll mention today. This exotic doesn't have any direct verbiages that help it trigger blind, but it does play off of the use of Disorienting Blow and Lethal Current. Both of these attributes trigger blinding effects, and with the Liar's Handshake dealing out 200% increased damage, you'll be looking at a significant uptick in this exotic's performance. Most of the exotics that we mentioned today will fit in nicely into a prismatic build, but there is the potential for arc subclasses to be really powerful, and that's because we have the benefits of disorienting grenades, which blind enemies, and there's also two standout fragments. The Spark of Beacons, which causes special and heavy arc weapons to blind enemies after final blows. A fragment that would work well with the Indebted Kindness, the Hullabaloo, or the Forbearance. And there's also Spark of Brilliance, which causes arc precision final blows to trigger a blinding detonation, which would go great with the Queensbreaker, Centrifuge, or Cloud Strike. So there's a lot of reasons to dust off some of those old arc builds, and a great reason to explore further into those prismatic. So be sure that you keep an eye out on these exotics over the next couple of months. With that said, I wish you all the best of luck out there. Thank you as always for checking out the video. If you enjoyed it and found it helpful, then be sure to hit that like button below, along with the subscribe button if you're new. Both are greatly appreciated, and both really do help support the channel. If you need a great build to use with this new act, then be sure to check out my Mobilitics link that's down in the description, where you'll be able to find a ton of great in-game builds for each class. And until next time Guardians, this has been Profane, wishing you all some happy hunting.